we need to talk about Brandon Ingram. Brandon Ingram recently put up an incredible 37 point performance on efficient shooting as well and led his team to a win over the Phoenix Suns in Phoenix which is a very impressive win for them. And even besides his most recent game, over the tail end of the regular season, Brandon Ingram has been playing absolute lights out basketball for the Pelicans. But quickly before we get the video started, for those of you who may not know, I'm Juicy Sports, I make opinionative NBA content, and if you guys enjoy videos similar to this, hit that subscribe button that like button and that post notification bell but anyways let's get into it oh yeah i work with the medics i'm about to get you injected i got a couple connections so i can get you prosthetic okay. The fact that the New Orleans Pelicans even made it to the playoffs is a huge success for them when you consider how poorly they started off the season as. And of course, part of the reason why the Pelicans started off so poorly was due to the fact that Zion was out the entire season this year, who is one of, if not the best player on this roster. And whenever you have your best player out for the entire season, you're probably not going to do that well as an organization. But the fact that they did make it all the way to the playoffs this season really just shows you how resilient they are as a team, but also how good Brandon Ingram, their best player at least at this point has been for them this season on the year brandon ingram has basically been putting up the same numbers for the past three or four seasons but they're incredible numbers he's putting up around 23 points per game on 46 percent shooting from the field 5.8 rebounds and 5.6 assists just incredible numbers not only has he been an absolute bucket which we have known over the past few seasons but he's also adding some other aspects to his game in terms of his passing and playmaking ability which coming into the nba was an aspect of his game he was actually known to be a very poor passer and playmaker so the fact that he's improving that area of his game all the way up to around five and a half assists per game is very promising for him but also the fact that he's helping out his team in terms of the rebounding as well in terms of both offensive and defensive rebounds really just shows that he's working on other aspects of his game besides his main ability which is a scoring ability of course and that's exactly what you want to see from your star players and typically when they look to expand other aspects of their game and do so effectively that's when they really turn from a really good player to an all-star type guy to that superstar type level and i think it's pretty clear at this point that brandon ingram is either going in that direction or in my opinion i think he's already there but probably the more impressive thing to me personally is the way that brandon ingram especially during the tail end of the regular season would just will his team to wins if that meant he needed to score an incredible amount of points maybe even 45 50 points he was willing to do so and of course has a capability to do so or if maybe a certain game he wasn't necessarily on in terms of his score scoring ability and he needed to become more of a passer and playmaker he was of course also willing to do that as well he was basically just doing whatever his team needed in order to win but as i mentioned before brandon ingram has really taken his game to the next level at the tail end of the season and has really transferred over into the playoffs so far although it's only been two games in his last few games during the regular season brandon ingram put up 29 points 27 and 30 on all efficient shooting numbers as well and even besides the numbers you could just tell by watching him that brandon ingram was on a mission in order to take his team to the playoffs and of course he was successful in that and in the two most important games of the season against the san antonio spurs and the la clippers which were the play-in games he of course had incredible performances in 27 and 30 points respectively on efficient shooting as well and really the great stretch that he was on towards the tail end of the season did transfer over into the playoffs although in game one he didn't necessarily have a great game only putting up 18 points on six or 17 shooting which of course is not efficient whatsoever but the great thing about Brandon is he didn't necessarily let that bad game affect him as in game two he had an incredible performance putting up 37 points on really efficient 13 for 21 shooting 11 rebounds and nine assists and the most important part of that performance is he led his team to a win and now the series is tied up 1-1 which basically nobody saw coming and now with reports coming out that Devin Booker could potentially be out for games three and four and of course the next two games games three and four will be played in New Orleans this could potentially be a golden opportunity for the Pelicans to steal another game. And if the Pelicans could take one or even both of their home games, that would be an incredible momentum swing in their favor. And at that point, a lot of NBA fans would change their opinions from the Pelicans are probably just going to lose in five or six games if they're lucky, to a point where they actually have a real chance to win this playoff series. Now, I personally don't think the Pelicans are going to win this series, not necessarily saying that they can't or that Brandon Ingram isn't necessarily good enough to do so. I just think that Phoenix Suns are such a great team and are my picks 
at this point to win the NBA championship, at least coming into the playoffs. But I will say it's going to be extremely exciting to see what does happen with this playoff series and how well Brandon Ingram specifically plays. Because if he has a phenomenal playoff series, I think he can garner a lot more respect than he does currently have at this point. Because I think at this point, a lot of people see Brandon as a phenomenal scorer, but don't necessarily see him as much more than that and don't necessarily see him as a winning player either. But if Ingram was able to lead his team all the way to the playoffs when they had that awful start, and if he also was able to play extremely well in this playoff series and maybe even win it, that would be incredible if he does. I personally don't think so, but if he did do so, I think he would garner a lot more respect than he currently has at this point. Because really the moral of the story and the point that I'm trying to make is Brandon Ingram is a much better player than he does get credit for. And obviously he is still a very young player and has a ton of room to improve as his seasons progress, and I would have no reason to believe that he wouldn't do so. Now when you talk about his scoring ability, of course he is pretty polished at this point, and maybe he doesn't have all that much room to grow, but really where I would like to see him improve going forward is his passing and playmaking ability, which as I mentioned, he has done a really nice job at improving over the years, but of course there's always room to grow in that department, while also improving on the defensive side, maybe rebounding a little bit as well, and just turning into an all-around player, but I would say at this point he's doing a really nice job at doing so. And long term, I would definitely see him as a superstar type player if he's not already. I personally would say he's a superstar player in my opinion at this point, but probably on the lower end of that superstar skill, but long term I would see him certainly getting a lot higher in that skill. The biggest thing for him would be just to be winning consistently, which I certainly think he has the capability to do so long term, and I'm very excited to see how not only he performs, but also how the New Orleans Pelicans perform. But one thing that I do want to say about the Pelicans that I mentioned in some of my videos, I do think they need to figure out the Zion Williamson situation. Whether that means they need to figure out his injury situation and to see if he could actually stay on the court or if they need to figure out if he actually wants to play for the Pelicans. Whatever it is, they need to figure it out and figure it out quickly because if Zion doesn't want to play for the Pelicans, in my opinion, I think it would make a lot of sense for them to trade him away just to get some assets in return and truly build around Brandon Ingram who would be their best player and probably already is their best player at this point. But of course, the main focus for the Pelicans at this point would be to winning this playoff series against the Suns and if they are able to do so, although it seems very unlikely at this point, then who knows how far they would be able to go. But whatever happens during this playoffs, I think the Pelicans as a roster and organization certainly have a pretty decent future going forward, especially if they were to keep Zion on their team and if he were to stay healthy. The combo of Zion and Brandon Ingram, although it doesn't necessarily fit all that great on paper, I think they're just too talented not to work out together. And overall, even besides those main two guys, they have some other nice players on this roster and I just think they have a nice future going forward. But we'll see what happens going forward. But anyways, let me know what you guys think in the comments. Do you think Brandon Ingram deserves more credit than he gets at this point, or do you not think so? But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you did enjoy, check one of these two videos popping up now, and until the next time, peace out guys. I'm about to get you injected. I got a couple connections so I can get you prosthetics. Hope you can't go where I'm headed.